Good morning, Miami Dolphin fans. Today, I'm going to be joined by JPF Scout. I'm Rob Mosley, a.k.a. Dolphins Thirsty. And there, just a quick little reminder of one of Dolphin fans' favorites. He seems to be a favorite on Twitter and all these people for being a wannabe prospect for the Miami Dolphins. But anyway, with no further ado, because he has short time today, Justin, welcome back to our show as always. Uh -huh. And Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing with Colorado Longhorns and all of that before we hop into our mock draft this morning. Oh, man, we're just working, getting prepared for uh, – love this shirt. Check this shirt out. <laughs> getting, ready yeah. for the, uh, getting ready for our game on Saturday. Um, so we had like three practices this week and then uh, just um, helmets and shells for today. And then we practiced good yesterday, man. It's probably one of our better practices we've had. Great emotion. <clears throat> um, then we're doing a walkthrough on Thursday. Then we'll be playing a game on Saturday, which is like a little preseason game. It's a little tuned up for us to get ready. It's a scrimmage, but we're going to treat it like a real game. We'll be there, you know, preparation. The game's at 2. We'll be at the field at 12. We're going to walk through just like a normal game. Um, road games, we'll do the same thing, but we'll have to obviously travel. Um, yeah. But um, I'm just coaching down low, down on the uh, – <clears throat> when I talk to my buddy Jay, his name's Jason Guerrero. You'll probably see him coming on here shortly on the show. I um, said he needed a little bit of help down on the D-line. I'm like, oh, well, it's the line of scrimmage. I know both. So I'm helping him down at the D-line right now. And um, I, I, I started off as, like I said, the assistant defensive line coach over there now. They don't got a lot of defensive linemen coaches down there right now, so I'm just assisting with the defensive line. Showing them technique, alignment, make sure they're properly aligned, make sure they're running their play to uh, in phase, meaning running their assignment and like not just playing, you know, loose and goosey, doing whatever they want because <clears throat> that'll get oh. us in trouble. So just yes. just studying with these guys, working, studying their playbook, learning the defense, you know, just having fun, man. Football, yeah, that's great, know? man. I know we know we won't keep too long on that, guys. I just want to let you know why he's been a busy man. It's great football content as always. And oh, real quick, you. before and a little Miami Dolphin news before we drop in your take on one that's already happened that's in the books: Anderson, chosen, you know, the chosen one, or Robbie, whatever you want to call him. Your take on him, and then we will the possibility once about Dalvin Cook after that. Like if if you're yay or nay. Um, on that. the the chosen signing, the Anderson one, was kind of a surprise probably for everybody. Kind of came out of left field. Um, I think the Dolphins have a have a place in their heart for the underdog. Kind of like me. Like I love those underdog players. I love the success stories. I love it when guys are like, you know what? I'm changing my whole life around. I'm going with God. I just want to be a good football player, a good person, you know, all that good stuff you want to hear, which is like politically correct answer, I guess you right. would say for him. <clears throat> um, he's had a, a shattered background. You know, everybody knows his story. But I think everybody deserves a second chance too, maybe even in some cases thirds. But yeah. um, I, I'll be honest with you. It's something to where it's like if you really want to get production out of someone like a Robbie Anderson, he's, it, this is what it depends on. How yeah. quickly can you learn the playbook? And then how quickly can you start producing off of that? So if you right. come into like week one, week two, three, and you're seeing action and you're catching footballs, I'll be like, okay, you got a chance. But the one thing I see why the Dolphins want to bring him in, <coughs> excuse me, is he's got 4-3 speed. He can stretch out a defense over the top. If you can get Robbie Anderson, excuse me, chosen Anderson to get yeah. out there on like the an, an X or a Z position and actually take a cornerback away from the, you know, outside on the perimeter and he's running flies, you bang eights, all that good yeah. stuff. It leaves somebody like Waddle and Hill to come inside. Oh, no, that's what I was going to say. There's going to be speed. It's not going to be in any short supply if you get no, those. No, you've guys. got plenty of speed on this <laughs> team. But then that leaves yeah. that leaves the middle wide open for Hill and Waddle to come down and run those choice option routes, uh, curls, comebacks, digs, Agreed. slants, everything in the middle of the field. Um, I think it opens things up like that offense could be super sexy. Agreed. And I think that's why they realized they said, oh, if teams are shutting down these kind of took away or outside, not took away. They still had great numbers, but slowed down our pace. Once they saw, yeah. oh, this is all they want to do. So they kind of slowed that down from the, I always want to say San Diego, from like the Chargers game forward, they kind of teams game plan for us differently. And it was not the 
same high float. Yeah, and if, we were if you remember so just how that another happened. element that like, oh, now we have to shut someone else down. So, you know, you remember so. how that happened too. It was like they got up in our receivers, chili, knocked them off their routes, impeded the route and the rhythm of the of the offense. That's when you need to have someone who's really good at finding the soft spot in the zone and just sits down in it and he's open because he knows where the soft spot is in, in the defense. He's seen this before. You know what I mean? Vito, what's up, my man? I haven't, I haven't talked to you in a while. What's going on? Deuces. But um, <clears throat> honestly, it's all about that. Like the offense could be really sexy if you get someone to have rejuvenate his career like a Robbie Anderson. Yeah. Then that gives you that outside guy that you can now you can – spread the ball around it <clears throat> it would make the offense dynamic if you went and got a oh my god and then you talked about the the i'll give you a one two like coach said this one time you talked about dalvin cook right. now you add that kind of speed into the backfield <clears throat> oh my god this yeah, offense yeah. could be deadly if no, I Robbie agree. anderson was to you know bring his career back to where he used to be catching footballs maybe close to a thousand yards then you can bring the two other receivers inside and use them more as weapons like they are which is waddle and hill <clears throat> and then you had dalvin cook in the backfield <sighs> now you're talking yeah. about five weapons you got to cover instead of just a two-headed dragon now you got a five-headed dragon but yeah. before we came on the air here me and you were talking about dalton kincaid now the thing that I'm that I'm kind of noticing here about the Dolphins is they kind of are thinking about this offense a little bit the same way that I am. I think they think they're one good playmaker away from like having the team to beat, and I think they're right. Uh, someone like a Dalton Kincaid, if you added that into the offense, gives you the playmaking ability to stretch the field, but at the same time give the ball to somebody underneath who's um, he's underrated in his aspects of what he does with his hand with the football once it hits his hands. That's when all right. the magic happens for Dalton Kincaid. He's got yeah, I've seen other hands. people say the same thing. It's yeah, funny. There's a big divide. Some people like are, are on the Tucker bandwagon and other people are on the Dalton bandwagon and Tucker. I mean, Tucker craft people, Tucker craft. Some people are on his and you're, you're okay with Tucker. You wrote a nice write up about him, but you definitely have. He's rated Dalton. a little bit lower on my, <clears throat> on my boards. And I think a reason why I see it is because, um, he can play the position pretty well as far as the blocking aspect of it goes. But as far as like getting explosive plays at him out of the backfield and like running the traditional tight end sets, mm, I'm a little iffy on it. He's more to me of like a Tucker craft reminds me more of a, of a Kyle use check. Like a, you know what I'm saying? He's more of a fullback, like can run those, fullback blocking right routes you know what i'm saying he's like more of a fullback tight end h-back type rather than what everybody wants which is a traditional tight end hey How do you I know where Vito can find some colorado gear oh bro just you got to get on uh get on facebook and find the colorado longhorns search longhorns and we have a store page right there and search for the store page and you can order everything right off the store page and ship right to you so I'll get you hooked up with the gear, bro. Get on Facebook. Yeah. Get on Colorado Longhorns. Tweet out their long. Tweet out their Facebook link later if you. Yeah, remember. I will. And then just get into the. I could probably shoot you the store link, and then just go to the store link, and you can get all the gear. Thank you, man. They appreciate your support. They got the hats. They got um, three colors of shirts. They got a quarter zip. They got a couple of different color hoodies. I've got one of each. I got the shirt, two, two, three shirts, a hat, a couple hoodies. <laughs> I Ooh, just got to cut my – Austin, you're killing me. Hair. Austin, I, I you see one of your guys on Facebook, Austin. Oh, or is... no, dude, this dude. Hey, bro. This, this dude. <laughs> oh, man. Austin, you're killing me right now, bro. You're all, you're killing me. I'm going to have one of the, the, the linemen hit you with that red jersey on <laughs> today, dog. Right. Sorry, Austin. I just saw you. And Ender, I'm sorry. Oh, I saw you just start the show and I forgot. Ender, welcome as always. Ender. Austin. Yo, Austin, you're crazy, bro. I ain't trading. I wouldn't trade a, ba a, a basket of bread and some apples for Lamar Jackson to be. Quiet. Oh, man. Now, that may be going a little too far on the other side. Both of you are crazy. Nah, nah man. I'll, I'll I'll be honest with you, dude. Lamar ain't done nothing that Tua hasn't done besides, well, win one playoff game. But I'll be honest not with anyway. you, like, I'm not a Lamar fan, bro. I mean, if you did, damn it, I would have to back it up because we'd have the best, most explosive, fastest offense in the league. But that doesn't mean nothing. Um, I think we're good with what we have with Tua. Two and, and a first rounder for Lamar. Hell no. Now well, you got to anyway, Austin. Even though you're not a Dolphin fan, Austin, you, you just, Austin, you just. 
gave me the first time quote for my site. So here's a, here's a little <laughs> magic for you, Austin. Miami has a dolphin. I knew you were going to pull that out. So yeah, yeah. Thank you, Austin. That's my tradition when someone quotes to my site for the first time on my page. If we there you go. Just for you, Austin. Just for you. Yeah, but anyway, Austin. I know time is short. I'm looking at the clock for you. You got to be out working here. Where I'm going to pull up the mock draft while I'm doing that on the backside. You can be talking to right. anyone. Give us well, your we, thoughts. Like, the problem who with would that you rather have? If it came down to Dolphins, get to the draft. No running back falls on their board to where they are comfortable. So after the draft, both Henry and Cook are available for trade for future compensation, whatever. Which one? Tell, tell them which one you would prefer while I'm getting the draft ready. Out of those two running backs, which one would I like? I, yes. I would go. I would. I, I'm happy with either or. Trust me, but I would rather have Derrick Henry. That's just me, and the reason why I'd rather have Derrick Henry. It's like it's like speed versus power when you're talking about Cook versus Henry. And the reason why I want Henry is because you can wear a defense down with someone like that. You could get into a third and fourth quarter of a game and just pound the ball at them and be like seven, eight yards, 20 yards, 15 yards. It takes pressure off of Tua Tagovailoa to add somebody like a Derrick Henry because he's a bell cow. He can take carries. He can take your offense to new levels. Just imagine having a Derrick Henry, someone you're like, hey, I need four yards. I need five. And you can give it to the guy. And then when you want a big explosive play, you can go to Waddle. You can go to Hill. You can go to Siebert or – Smythe or Connor or someone like that. They don't use the tight ends the way I would like to use them, but that's just because this offense is predicated around them blocking more. <clears throat> I agree because we have pretty good speed in the backfield. We definitely do. We, I mean, honestly, I would love to see them add someone like King Henry just to pound the ball at people. That's the reason why my infatuation with adding uh, Derrick Henry would be to win a Super Bowl and to take pressure off of Tua so he doesn't feel like he has to do it all. Okay, Justin, I hate to – Look at that. You can drop your no great thought, right so, now. Yeah. <laughs> you, but as, can, to me, 65, 65 is falling too far back. Yeah, that's too um, far. What's your next offer, though? If it's like somewhere near five, like – Well, 57 oh, 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 and picking up pick 89. Okay, and wait getting, a minute. Take away pick one ninety seven and see if they'll give us eighty nine for to fall back six spots. Then I would do that. So don't give them one ninety seven. No. Oh man, they got so many picks. See if they'll give up two forty three or even two oh nine. Well, let's just do this one first because this is a risk. Keep it up realistic. Right. Let's see. Right. Don't, no, decline. Oh, right. then forget it. We don't. We don't. We don't make a trade. Then. Or risky. Or risky. We take away. Who would care about? How about two thirty eight? But you want to keep because uh, we would just decline it, I guess. Just try it. So, see, you could have tried it to see if they gave if they did gave it. That ain't bad. Okay. That wasn't that wasn't too bad. Like, see if yeah. they'll take two thirty eight, give us one hundred four. They'd be some fools to do it, honestly. But yeah. you never know what happens. Well, not Texas. I don't want to see. Oh, well, yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Let's not do it. Let's just go. <laughs> He's all out. Screw that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think I canceled. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Here we go. This one. Yeah, this is the one I want to get rid of. This one, make this one. And go. I would take that because now you uh, No, nope, they, they decline. Way. All right. So let's just <laughs> let's see who. Drew oh, Sanders. Your, this is 100. There's some big names on the board. Jack Campbell, Drew Sanders, Mozzie Smith. You know Gibbs, what? No one's talking Simpson. about no wow. one's talking about that kid from Northwestern, man. Like, this kid needs to get some love. That Ada Tomawe, Ada Borai. Well, kid I'm happy you said the name and not me. Oh yeah, I God. have him rated at 100 on my SRS scorecard, bro. Like, if you scored 100 on my SRS scorecard, you have the potential to be special in this league. Drew Sanders, Ada Morai, uh, Jack Campbell, Steve, Steve Avila. Steve on there. There's a lot of big names that people go like. To the, for the off, go to the tackles. Offensive tackles. I think this is our biggest area of concern right now. If I'm a Dolphins fan, Dolphins GM, Dolphins coach. Even well, Dolphins I know player. from talking to you in the past and reading your stuff, you like Warren McClendon and you like Matthew Bergeron, but maybe I one of them falls to 84. Yeah, I do. I think maybe I think maybe Bergeron could fall to 84. What's that? Um, uh, what's it? Defense. 
tackle. Basically, I'm looking for a nose tackle right here. Mozzie Smith and Saya Aika are both there. This is rough for me because I say let's grab a nose because there's not a lot of them. And let's hope for a tackle to fall with the next pick. So that being said, what's your choice between Mozzie Smith and Saya Aika? Those are the two. Um, well, I've been taking Aika because Mozzie doesn't normally fall on my mock drafts for whatever reason. He's so strong, like they, dude. He can play the position as well. Like, I like him as well. He's not as so, big as Aika, though. So Ica's I'll let you choose then, man. You you watched a lot more film than I. I'll admit that right away. You I'm, watched taking, I, I'm taking Aika. Ica, it is. Boom. I know some fans won't think that's sexy, but I've taken him in a lot based on your word. Not only that, it's, but there's not a lot of sexiness you can do when you're picking 51st in the the NFL draft. Like, we don't have a, a first-round pick. So, well, what was that right there? The only want us to move down one spot? What yeah, I know, doing? but they wanted us – they're giving us a pick for next year. That's no fun. I'm taking no, something – No, take away, take away 197 and, see, yeah, and if I'm, see if they'll give you 200. But don't give them 197. Yeah, of course. We'd be coming out. We'd come out on the other end. We need to come yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> See if they'll give us 200 and I'll take it. If they'll give us pick 200, that's a You don't think they'll give us 156? That's asking for no too way. much. No way. That's too much. 200, mm. they might. I'm, I mean, I, I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah. Try it. Bam, Maybe. they took it. Now, you see, look, that's how you gain extra picks in this draft. Hey, dude, that's only two picks. Take away the fourth and the fifth and add a pick in on Minnesota side. That one's even doable. Yeah. I hope the Dolphins are doing stuff like this during the draft because that's going to help us. But you know what? Dang. Okay, this one I'm going to reject. That's way too far down. Clendon went right before the pick. We're getting ready to pick right here. You should get back on that board and see if uh, Bergeron. Okay, let's see. If Bergeron's on the board on offensive tackles. He's there. Take him right now. There's not even a doubt in my mind that's who the pick would be. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you don't want to risk using one of your favorite linemen when he's Duh, there. That's the lineman they need right there, bro. If you want my honest opinion, that's the guy I want right there is McClendon. It's weird. We went in this whole process and Jack can Well, we took Spurgeon, but McClendon, I like McClendon too because he's actually a right tackle due to playing on the talented Georgia team. He wasn't the left tackle like most of these top – so he was right, and that's what the Dolphins need—a guy that can come in day one, don't have to change sides, know well, the McClendon, position. McClendon can play both, bro. He can play. Yeah, I know McClendon can right play now. both. But guess what? So can Bergeron. Yeah, Bergeron too. Okay, I know McClendon. Yeah, McClendon's the one that did a lot, a lot of. If right, he can play grab... both. So anyway, here we are. Just as just a reminder, Judge, because we're moving fast here. Ica was your first oh, yeah, pick. We got now, time. Ber- we got time. Okay, so we got Aika and Bergeron already I in. I love that. That is absolutely gold, in my opinion. But, hey, if they were to grab either or, McClendon or Bergeron, I'm going to call it right now. This is on uh, one of your episodes right now. It's recorded. It's it's going in the books. He'll One of the either two, if they were to draft either or, he'll start one of those guys at right tackle. They will yeah. beat out Austin Jackson. I, I believe that as well. And I well, right there to the top, dude. Honestly, I I know we don't want to mess with the running backs too much. I think you got offensive tackle. What's at guard? What's at guard? Real quick. Well, I do like that running back. I know oh, you I like would him. take Tajay Spears more than likely. That's the top of the guards. Yep, that's the top of the guards. Oh man, dude, go over to. Um, oh wow. Just for shits and giggles, what's a tight end? <laughs> oh, my God. I like the Wiley kid, though, out of Cincinnati, but I think he's a late rounder like this now or UDFA. I'll take Tajay Spears, bro, right now. I can't believe he's even there right now, honestly. Tajay Spears would be the pick. Right, well, now look, we're already back to do that trade. We're already back on the I clock. Love it. I love it. Um, what's it? Uh, defensive tackle. Wow, man, I like I like Carl Brooks and Corey Durden right there, and Coburn. Those three players I like. What's at edge? Oh, yuck. Ramirez is going to be good, though. Um, That's the top right there? Yeah, that's the top. Well, we're What's right at- down there in that 200 range of the pick. Yep, so, yeah. yep. What's at linebacker? 
Those, that's the top. Right Go there. down a little bit. I'm curious to see something. That little more. Search. There it is right there. I can't believe this, you guys. I have this dude rated super high, too, like in the 90s, 98, 97. Ben Trail Miller right there at wow. 355. I think he's super underrated. I would get on the phone after the draft was wrapped up, and I would give him a call, come in as a UDFA. I've got many a UDFAs I'm interested in, and he's one of them. Him and Xavier Valade, the running back. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's rated that low. Go back to the oh, I think if You've been on Xavier forever. And then out of the blue, the Dolphins actually brought him in and looked at him. And Barry Jackson wrote about it. And I was thinking of you. You've been on him from day one of this. Day one, bro. I've, been, I've actually been watching that kid play and develop now for like the last three years. He's yeah. He's a former uh, friend and teammate of my buddy Aiden Eberhart, who's playing for the BC Lions this year. Um, so I'm very familiar with his game. And I'm going to tell you right now, someone's going to get him as a UDFA and get so happy. What's so the when I saw that? I know I thought of you right away when I saw that Barry Jackson article. Because and I've been man. talking to him. I've been talking to you about this Xavier Valade kid now for like the last four months. What's yep. the what's on the all? I actually, everybody hears me talking about the Valaday kid. They just think I'm crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. They got me pulling. I'm, I'm thinking about taking a kicker right here. What's below uh, Hicks on the big board? Yep, keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. They like that kid right there, but we just got it back. That didn't. We could double up. Didn't, yeah. That Demeric Prince, the, the Dolphins like him. Keep going down. Keep going. I'm going. Keep going. Keep her rolling. Keep her going down. Never know what you might find down there. Oh, there's a guy right there on my list. This would be luxury, but that Taiwan Mullen out of Indiana, I have him rated in the like 97 SRS, 98. Oh, you might as well jump on him then because Dolphins could use, like you said, maybe a luxury, but, you know, we no, could there use it him. Is right there. There's the pick right there. 233. Everybody so, wants that um, tight end. Josh Weil. Cincinnati. Oh, oh. Yep. That's the pick right there. That's pretty good value on what we're looking for at this rate. And yeah, at this point in the draft, I mean, all drafts are crapshoot even in the first round, but at this point when you get into the draft, you're really – and here comes our final. Oh, that yeah. Britain Strange, which is funny. I'm going to ask you about Britain Strange. What are your takes? He seems to be rising up draft boards. Mel Kuyper had him going as high as number two. 51 to the Miami Dolphins and all that's these simulators, he always falls to the this round and stuff. Yeah, that's but. way too high on a Brenton Strange. I like him because he's got very good blocking. He's strong. He and he blocks like just a tick below or a couple ticks below where Washington is. So he's like a baby Darnell Washington. He does offer you a little bit of pass catching ability with the threat of the run after. Um, it's very underrated. I think he can do it more. Um, I think he's a guy that maybe could be targeted right there in that range. Sure, I could see that. Okay, I know, but other people haven't really. This is what a reminder of what you've oh taken. Oh my god! You, Look this at is that what draft. you have so far. So I don't know if there's any. You just might double down at a position, or you're going to take best available that happens to be any position. I'd so this, take best available with this last pick. So what's to the this, very? Top? This is the all. This is the all. Look, and, Dimitri Prince, very top, dude, the very top one. If if you if for my money, because of what he could be, I'm really really high on that Carl Brooks kid right there at a Bowling Green. I like him. I think he's raw. He's got some ability. Yeah, be doubling down on the defensive line, but what's this? Because we got some unknown on the defensive line moving forward on yep. contracts after this year, so building with we the do. What's below? Keep going down though. Keep going to like two fifty six or even below that. Ramirez, keep going. Bumper pool. Look, Corey Durden, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, Coburn. Oh, this is hard. The reason why is because think about it. We already got Ica, right? If you put Coburn in there, now you got another guy who's like 240 pounds with more athletic ability. But you could get him as an undrafted free agent right after you make your last pick here. So, yeah, go to the very top. Double down. Oh, and I was looking to see. I take the Prince. I take the running back right now and take Prince. I just went. 
Dolphins need I to invite went... <laughs> my uh, uh, one of my coaches just commented and said Dolphins need to invite me to a long snap tryout. <laughs> they got <laughs> they got Blake Ferguson, dog. They drafted, they put spent a draft pick on a long snapper. That should tell you what they think about the kid. He's actually really good. He's a great long snapper. Um, yeah, I would actually like to have you in there. <laughs> Nick Herbig is still there. Like him as a defensive fit for Miami. I like Nick Herbig. But to me, he's more of a linebacker than a pass rusher. He definitely is strong and stout at the point of attack with great arms, great hands, good physical attribute that brings to his game. But he's just a little slow for my liking as far as a pass rusher goes. I'm not saying he can't do it. He's just a little slow. He might be one of those things that is like a natural prodigy and that gets in the league and then comes on years later. I could see that happening with him. Um, but if I was going to take this last pick right now, it's between Corey Durden, Coburn. Keep going. Keep going back up. Go back up again. I think I've seen a name right there that I can't believe is there. Keep going. Up. Yep. More, Which more, one? more. More. Back up to like toward the top. Uh, he well, well, keep going all the way to the top. Oh. I just go ahead and take double oh, that's, up. That's, that's all the way to the top. I just go ahead and take Prince right there. Double up at the running back spot. No, screw that, dude. Take Carl Brooks. We can get an undrafted free agent running back to match with the one we have. Carl Brooks. I know you like the line. kid that that holiday kid. Like I say, I give you kudos because you were on that, and the Dolphins went and brought him in. So there you go. It Justin's Love mock it. Draft. For April nineteenth, I got Virgil on Spears, Riley, and Brooks. Yep. So look, you helped good, your defensive good. line out right there by getting yourself a true nose tackle. You helped out the offensive lineman by getting yourself a, a what I would say was a bookend tackle, which is Bergeron, who can play left tackle, right tackle. That really that does scare me about the Dolphins. The health of Teron Armstead scares the hell out of me. It was since the beginning, and I love his presence on the team. You just need something to slow cook behind him that you could bring in. And then the pick in the middle there is a great one. Tajay Spears, you're getting that little lightning rod that you can throw into the backfield and use as a weapon out of there. Yeah, I like it. Then you got the tight end you can bring up slowly. And the Carl Brooks, I love me some Carl Brooks. He's got great long arms, powerful arms. that He knows how to use his hands. They're like weapons out there. He just needs some fine tuning on his pass rush polish. Um, once he learns how to string it together, I think Carl Brooks will be a menace down low. So yeah, I love that draft. Great draft. Like I don't think we really reached on anything besides maybe the first pick. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't. I give us a little bit. I took him in one of my mocks well, on the it's, Finn's it's Talk rough because Sports there's Network. Nothing, there's... Speaking of the Finn's Talk Sports Network, thank you for joining us today. And make sure you, I'm horrible at promoting, and I always forget to promote them too. Please like and subscribe to Dolphins Thirsty here. Hit that thumbs up. Finn's Talk Sports Network's another good network, and he has some stuff up on my site right now. And G Man, it's always a pleasure to have G Man in the house. Yeah. So he says, can't wait to the drop of dollars that we can make fun of Greer. Well, hopefully we're praising him instead of making fun of him, G-Man. We're, we're going to go in circles if we have to be knocking him again. It's funny, it's, always it, gonna be it's funny because I guess, like, I was watching uh, Pooh Part and, like, Omar Kelly have some new thing going. I was just, like, put something on in the background and heard him talking about that. And it's funny because they're talking about how Chris Greer – Right. He can make great trades. You know, he's a trade master, but he just can't seem to get the draft together for to save his life. Like if he could if he could start drafting better, I mean, he'd be a really good GM. I mean, he does have some hits, but unfortunately he had, you know, but everyone's going to have this. So I guess we will, you know, we just have to wait and see, as we say. Because the 2020 drop is still the big question mark, those three first rounders. See what he said right there, that comment right there? If the Dolphins got Ica, Carl Brooks with Wilkins and Sealer, that defensive line would be scary. And it really would. I mean, you probably have to wait on some development out of the ladder of the Ica and the Brooks because I think Ica is probably ready to play and contribute and help right off the bat. But Brooks might take a year, maybe even two. He's not addressing the offensive line. What the hell is – doing yeah. signing Robbie Anderson I hear you bro yeah we touched that, that to start the show Justin put his yep. thoughts that it will help 
divert some of the attention because teams kind of took away, not took away because Waddle and Hill is still great. But yeah, go ahead. Real quick, because he's saying right there, like, G-Man, I agree with you. He's you know, not addressing the offensive line. Do you remember before this whole process started and I told you what's the number one thing I'd fix going into free agency? What was that? Right. The, the offensive, offensive line. line. The offensive line. And he's not doing it. I'm pissed about that. That's the one thing that has me super mad about this whole free agency period. And you got guys out there, too. I mean, what's the problem? Brandon Shell is still there. And I think that's their, like, little thing they're putting in their back pocket. Yeah, that's probably their fallback. The they better not lose them to some other team because you they're could. waiting too long. There's plenty of guys out there, dude. There's that uh, Matt Feeler. There's Brandon Shell. There's Dalton Reisner. There's the I Fleming. think Feeler finally ended up signing with someone I saw, and someone was mad the other day. I really? That's yeah. not good because those are guys we need, yeah. you know. And then yeah. you still have the DJ Fluker thing. I know no one wants to talk about DJ Fluker. Shout out to DJ the Warrior Fluker, my dog. That's my boy right there. Um, he's my boy, dude. I'll tell you right now, uh, Fluker, come in here. I wouldn't even mind that. I know it's a shot in the dark, but what else do you got? What was this? I know. About, I know you've chatted with him one on one. What was his before. comment on Reisner? Is he still available? Yes, yes, dude. And I don't understand how the Dolphins aren't jumping on this, dude. Like. You need to like right. Uh, my dog's chiming in. On him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Chase, I don't know why they're not chiming in on him. Getting in on him. Exactly. What? <laughs> yeah. See, he's, he's, okay. Okay. Chase, you, you said your two cents. That's what happens <laughs> live. You know, my kids are at school. Well, my kids are old anyway, so they'd be quiet. But you know, sometimes you hear babies in the background and stuff. Chase. Okay. No more. Sorry, guys. Like, That's enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, so that that's you know, but you see, G, DJ DJ Fluker, Fluker might, might as well, well sign Benjamin Webb. <laughs> yeah, he still has some. He still has. I know he's been off, but I still agree that's my with boy. that. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, you also have your personal connection to him. So. Yeah, yeah, but, that's my buddy right there. I like yeah, DJ. I, know. I think he could deserve a chance if it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out, and you throw Austin Jackson out there or whatever you want to do. But that's not working for me, man. Like. They have to figure out the right tackle spot. And I don't care if you solve it through the draft or via free agency. You need to figure that out, like, uh, immediately. Because there's guys out there who could fill the spot right now. So. Yeah. No, I'm I'm with you 100%. Anything. Let's see. I agree. Marlon. Well, I'm a Red Sox G, man. I'm a Red Sox guy <laughs> here. But, hey, uh, the Red Sox won a fun game last night. It went 10 innings. That. and. It, it, it was nice, but, you know, the Red Sox are just going to be mad this year, but they're still my team, just like the <laughs> Dolphins I stick with during the mad years, which right. is many years for the Dolphins, where we never get out of the mad years. But, you know, hopefully we do eventually. But, yeah, it's all great. And, Justin, thank you again for yeah, getting with us today. I know you got to get out there and earn the bread. Yeah. So because Dolphin Thirsty doesn't pay you a penny. So <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I wish I did. If I had a big budget, brother, I'd pay people, you know. Hell yeah. But it, it is what it is. Hey, he's throwing some love to the Marlins, which I like. I mean, the Marlins are fine. They're my local team. Okay, Chase, that's it. <laughs> Chase. So, he, he, I don't know why. I, I have the window open today. I forgot to turn on my studio light, so I opened the window real quick, and then he, he's like, I boom. hear noises. <laughs> and it's okay. You know, my, my studio, I sound so fancy. My studio is my son's room that's away at college that I just threw up some a dolphin jacket and a blanket thing on the door but one of these days if Dolphin Thirsty goes big time I get a fancy man cave background and hell all yeah that stuff. <laughs> I like you got your little man cave there I like okay, your background I love it man I love it in here this yeah. is my spot this is my office so I yeah. come to think and chop up film and do my yeah. do my thing in here <laughs> yeah, I, know. I was telling my son I said hey yes you're doing great in college but you know I may change your room to a studio and he was hey that's not fair I still come home I'm like well <laughs> just, that's what a couch is for kid that's right dude. You, come <laughs> you know home. I need a studio here but you know for now it's still his bedroom and I just throw for a last minute I throw stuff up there Absolutely, but Justin man. it's always been a pleasure yep. and Friday if you can we can get some of your long corns on there yeah, that was man. a lot of fun and we get them get Austin. Austin may have left before we teased him about that because <laughs> I didn't see it. It got mixed because I was worried about doing other things. And then I went back and I saw all those comments. Right. So you yeah, can tell I mean, him that we did shout out to him after the fact. So absolutely. And that we don't like his two of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll keep, definitely have a couple guys on. I think Oscar, one of the owners, is uh, going to come on. And then the head coach, uh, my buddy uh, Jason Guerrera. Um, I think we're talking about Friday doing that. So, yeah, Friday. I can set up a live in. show. Well, of course, we would talk Miami Dolphin guys. We would try to keep Absolutely. that. We could 
you guys don't know them that well, but just to give them their shot out there, talk about it. They're great guys, love football. They will talk pro football with you too. Yep. So, you know, anything. Oh, yeah. you know, some of them are Dolphin fans. A couple of them are Dolphin fans, Justin. Yeah, there's said. a couple of Dolphins fans on the team. Yep. Yeah, get them on here. So, right? see. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yes, Tua is looking all swelled up, G Man. Yeah, so. yeah, Tua Swallow Valoa. <laughs> I, I happy to see a positive G Man. It's a good thing, G Man. It's a good thing, you know. I'm telling it's you, bro. Good. I know it was last year, but I'm still on that, bro. He who laughs last, laughs best, man. Yeah. I'm telling you now. Well, watch out. They could keep the kid upright and keep it blocking, keep him upright. Everything will work out. Just All right, guys. Remember, they're gonna cut this short today. Just yep. got to run. I've already done my mock draft for the day here, so I'm good. Thank you, Justin. And make sure you guys you like. And you subscribe, like subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Justin, if they want to follow you on Twitter, where can they find you? You can find me at JPF Scout at twitter.com. Um, yeah. Give me a follow. If you're a young football player and you're trying to get your name out there, get some uh, FaceTime and people to know who you are. Um, yes, I know, G Man. No film. more. About it. What else are we going to do until the draft? You know, after the draft, Excellent. then we can talk about, you know, we have to have some fun. But I agree. Mock drafts get tiring after a while, but it's it's all speculation. I figured this way. If we do enough, I'm eventually might hit one of them that I can say, hey, I had that. That's what people do, you know. Never mind, I had 5,000 drafts, but one of them looks good. <laughs> I don't know how I missed it, but you said that the Dolphins had uh, Xavier Valade in for a visit because I yeah. missed that completely, but I'm um, – that's no, that's you were on his thing way back when, way back when. So the minute yeah. I saw that name, I'm like, well, Justin, I know who that name is. Normally, I wouldn't know who like someone is, but then I knew who he was, you know. And yeah, he's he's seems to be like in that seventh round or undrafted free agent window. So right, I think I'm, I hope I'm right about this. I think the reason why they're poking around like the Prince kid and all this other players is to keep people off the the Valade. Uh, the Valaday scent, you know, they're trying yep. to like cover up their scent, cover their tracks. I hope, yeah, I be... hope they sign him, man. I really do. I'd be so excited if they did, but yeah, yeah. man, it's that time. I got to dip out of here. Right. Um, I'll talk to you guys uh, on Friday or maybe even before then. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Thank you, man. I'll let all you right. know when it's, I was set it up and send you the link and then maybe okay. do a show tomorrow for all dolphin stuff. So for sure, man. All right. Sounds all right, good, guys. It's Justin, you thank you. Fins yep. up, like, and Fins subscribe. Up, Fins up, Dolphin fans. Later, dude.